Good evening. I'm Dennis McMillan, principal at Farmington Central High School. Welcome to Senior Honors Night. Tonight is a time to celebrate our seniors and their many accomplishments to the school community. I wish to give a special welcome to the members of the class of 2020 and address these words primarily to you. As you now are most alumni of Farmington, I would first like to thank you both per personally and institutionally for your leadership. Every one of you has experienced success this year. These are uncertain times. I know this is not the way we envisioned awards night. To the senior class, I do apologize. However, there's still an opportunity here to honor your hard work. I wish I could have experienced things with you, like the Sterling Merritt Annual Banquet in Peoria. It's an awesome experience. However, we're still very proud of you, and we want to make this most of, the most of this opportunity. This will be our last chance to celebrate your accomplishments prior to graduation. First of all, some thank yous are in order. We'd like to thank the Farmington Academic Foundation for their scholarships and their very hard work honoring you. We'd like to thank the school board and Dr. Chatterton. We'd like to take, thank the teachers, the faculty here, and their years of hard work poured into this evening. We'd like to thank the Sports Boosters Club. We'd like to thank our secretaries, Brandy, Aaron and Susan, who really do the vast majority of the work preparing for tonight. We'd like to thank our guidance counselor, Mrs. Kristen Neen, who will be speaking later. And we also like to thank your parents, parents who've been very instrumental in these years in guiding and directing these senior students. For that, we thank you. It takes an entire school community to educate students. Farmington is blessed to have supportive school community and faculty that cares for students in their endeavors. Tonight, members of this very special class receive scholarships and awards from a wide range of local businesses, town organizations, and memorial funds. These prizes serve to honor the intellectual promise, leadership qualities, community service, athletic accomplishments, extracurricular achievements, and outstanding personal character of our students. We are all extremely fortunate to belong to a community where those qualities are recognized and so generously rewarded. In addition to those scholarships, many students will also receive achievement awards for local and statewide recognition. The students who receive these awards have been carefully selected by their teachers, counselors, advisors, and coaches for their achievement and their ongoing pursuit of excellence. By any measure, this is an exceptional group of young people. We will miss them greatly, and we are so proud of what they have accomplished here over the past four years. Now, without any further delay, let us begin the awards presentation. We'd like to begin this evening with the foundation, and this is Kathleen Kowal, who will discuss scholarships for our seniors. Good evening. My name is Kathleen Kowal, and I am president of our 15-member board of the Farmington Central Academic Foundation. This is our 31st year of assisting Farmington graduates with their advanced education expenses. These scholarships are possible because of the generosity of community organizations, individuals, and memorials. We also receive monies from past graduates of Yates City and Farmington High Schools who live outside our community. In our first year in 1990, we were able to award five $500 scholarships for a total of $2,500. Tonight, we will present $65,500 in scholarship money. The criteria for scholarship selection is based on four factors. Academic achievement, school and community involvement, desire to further your education, character, and personal integrity. I want to thank the members of the academic board for their time and efforts in promoting the foundation. I also want to thank Guidance Counselor Krista Need for her help in facilitating the applications for these scholarships. This year, we are very excited to award scholarships to each of the 45 students who applied. 
So now let's present the awards. The first awards are for $1,000 each and will be presented in no particular order. The first scholarship tonight is presented from the Crystal Gomes Sunshine Foundation in memory of Ken and Beverly Connor. And it goes to Chloe Wheeler. The second one is also from the Crystal Gomes Sunshine Foundation in memory of Mary Bologna. And it goes to Jessica Prince. Next is the Joseph Evans Memorial presented to Kenna Gerber. Another scholarship from the Joseph Evans Memorial goes to Benjamin Martin. Kiefer Financial Incorporated presents a scholarship to Presley Fox. The Vic Venturi Memorial this year goes to Briar Colvin. David and Mary O'Haver Mormon scholarship goes to Jenna West. James and Patricia Pirelli Jr. Memorial is awarded to McKenna McKeever. The Farmington Women of the Moose present a scholarship to Rachel Elliott. The Farmington Odd Fellows Lodge number 44 and Rebecca Lodge, number 155, are awarding two scholarships this year. The first goes to Austin Marinich. And the second goes to Chesney Koenig. The Walt and Pauline Greeby Memorial goes to Austin Winters. George and Margaret Parashow Memorial is awarded to Riley Melton. The John Taylor Memorial goes to Amber Stokes. The Marvin Lozier Memorial is awarded this year to Jaden Rutledge. Martin and Diane Lozier Scholarship goes to Dalton Powell. The Brady Thru Memorial is awarded to Hannah Daniels. The Bank of Farmington Past and Present Directors Scholarship goes to Madeline Snyder. Dorothy Ann Melville Memorial is awarded to Ethan Marvel.
The Philip Melville Memorial goes to Caitlin Staley. The City of Farmington Scholarship is awarded to Paige Valianatos. Canton Kathleen Kowal Scholarship goes to Jacob Ebert. Illinois American Water Company Scholarship to Ashlyn Winters. Bank of Yates City. Scholarship to Devin Johnson. Farmington Community Bank goes to Jenna Need. Hannah City and Trivola Community Banks. Scholarship to Keegan Lahart. The Village of Hannah City Scholarship is awarded to Hannah Kelly. Farmington Moose Lodge number 1571 is awarded to Emma Franklin. Farmington School Board District 265 scholarship is awarded to Abby Pepper. The Kai Ziegler Memorial is awarded to Sierra Kearney. Farmington Athletic Boosters in memory of Brad Polhemus, goes to Chase Wizenand. The Jennifer Kelly Memorial is awarded to Emily Cash. Fred Bologna Scholarship in memory of Mary Bologna is awarded to Eric Wiedemann. The Lane and Janet Blackman McDaniel Endowment Scholarship goes to Kylie Hayden. Farmington Masonic Lodge, AF and AM, is awarded to Blake Springer. The Bo Cation Memorial Scholarship goes to Annalise Bolton. The Farmington Rotary Club Scholarship goes to Emily Adkins. The Farmington Central Academic Foundation is awarding three scholarships. First goes to Benjamin Behrens. The second to Kylie Skirvin. And the third to Alex Benson. The next award is given in the amount of $1,500. And it is provided by the Farmington Federation of Teachers and Support Staff. And it is awarded to Emily Street Matter.
The next two awards are in the amount of $2,000. The first is provided by the McCord Family Scholarship, and it goes to Gavin Mowen. The second is also provided by the Farmington Central Academic Foundation, and it goes to Adelaide Parr. Before I announce the final two scholarships, I want to tell you a little bit about the donor. This year, the foundation has a donor who is providing two new scholarships. Patricia Polito Miller grew up in Farmington, graduated in the class of 1956, and then went on to the University of Indiana. She and her business partner were entrepreneurs and launched a company known as Vera Bradley, a company which grew into an internationally recognized maker of women's handbags, luggage, accessories, and gifts. Pat Polito Miller has generously provided two scholarships this year, each in the amount of $10,000. In addition, these two scholarships may each be renewed for three additional years. So the final two scholarship awards are for $10,000 each. These awards are renewable for an additional three years. The first Patricia Polito Miller Scholarship is awarded to Gabriel Benson. And the second one, Patricia Polito Miller Scholarship, goes to valedictorian Seth Stidham. On Friday morning, May the 8th, between 9 and 11 a.m. at the high school entrance, each winner must come to pick up an awards packet. Inside that packet is a certificate, directions on how to collect the money, a sheet for your college registrar, and a form directing to whom each should send a thank you note. Sending that thank you note is very important. Tonight we gave out 45 scholarships totaling $65,500. We wish to congratulate each and every one of you and hope you all become very successful in life and then remember to give back to the foundation. You are standing on the shoulders of those who came before you and future graduates will be expecting to stand on your shoulders. And one more reminder, parents and students, don't forget those thank you notes including the 45 scholarships that we gave out tonight. In the past 31 years, the foundation has awarded 1,218 scholarships, totaling over $916,650. Also, we will be awarding an additional $50,000 in July to Farmington High School graduates who are either a college sophomore junior, senior, or graduate student. And I want to tell you who these providers are that are giving money for the college scholarships. The McCord Family Endowment, Mildred Brott Endowment, Michael N. Myers Endowment, Lane and Janet Blackman McDaniel, Vaughn Family Endowment, Glenn and Madeline Rogers Endowment, Ella Wasson, Endowment, Arthur and Katie Wolfgang Memorial Endowment, Lewis Newcomb Memorial Endowment, Scott Thomas Scholarship, Rob Knight Scholarship, Michael Greeby Scholarship, 
Ruth Shaw Scholarships, Marilyn Pilly Memorial Scholarship, David and Mary O'Haver Mormont, Santa and Kathleen Kowal, Farmington Masonic Lodge, AF and AM, Joseph Evans Memorial, as well as other individual contributors to the foundation. Applications for college scholarships are available at all of the local banks and in Facebook under Farmington Central Academic Foundation. If you are interested in donating to the foundation with a contribution or with your own endowed scholarship, please contact any of our board members for information. We also welcome matching grants from businesses. In conclusion, seniors of the class of 2020, please remember those thank you notes <laughs> and to give back to the foundation. We will see you on Friday morning to pick up your award packet. Our board wishes all of the graduating seniors only the best as you pursue your dreams. Thank you very much. We would like to honor tonight our student board representative who has served as a high school student liaison and provided insight and perspective to the school board during this past academic year. Please join me in congratulating Chloe Hitchcock. At the high school, each month we honor one senior student as student of the month. While these individuals are voted on and honored throughout the school year, we would like to collectively acknowledge them tonight. The September Senior of the Month was Devin Johnson. The October Senior of the Month was Dalton Powell. The November Senior of the Month was Madeline Snyder. The December Senior of the Month was Adelaide Parr. The January Senior of the Month was Blake Springer. The February Senior of the Month was Riley Melton. The March Senior of the Month was Gabe Benson. The April Senior of the Month was Gavin Mowen. And the May Senior of the Month is Abigail Pepper. The National Honor Society is a nationwide organization for high school students. Selection for each high school chapter is based on the four criteria of scholarship and academic achievement, leadership, character, and service to their school and community. We would like to recognize tonight our outgoing National Honor Society members from Farmington Central High School. Gabriel Benson. Emily Cash. Rachel Elliott. Presley Fox. Kylie Hayden. Devin Johnson. Keegan Lahart.
Ethan Marvel. Trinity McGuire. McKenna McKeever. Brian Montgomery. Adelaide Parr. Abigail Pepper. Jaden Rutledge. Madeline Snyder. Caitlin Staley. Seth Stidham. Paige Valianatos. And Austin Winters. The Carl Sandburg College Dual Credit Scholarship is offered to students who have taken at least six credits worth of dual credit courses during their high school career. This year, we are pleased to award the Dual Credit Scholarship from Carl Sandburg College to Miss Emily Cash. On behalf of Mr. Ryan Lambert, I am privileged to present two awards. The International Thespian Society is an elite group of students who are dedicated to the dramatic arts. Students are evaluated based on a point system. Each point represents 10 hours of quality work in the theater, from acting and sound to lights and makeup. This year, our four seniors have a cumulative total of over 350 points, which transfers to over 3,500 hours of work in the theater. I am very proud to announce the class of 2020 thespians. Emily Atkins. Seth Stidham. Devin Johnson. Gavin Mowen. In addition, the Director's Award was started by Susan Morse in 1982 and continued by directors Mary Brunica and Joshua Piper and is now continued by Mr. Ryan Lambert. The recipients of this honor dedicated time, sweat, and tears to the theater program. Each recipient's name will be represented on a plaque located within the theater by the light booth. This will be completed later this year. This year, I am very proud to announce the two recipients of the 2020 Farmington Central High School Director's Award. With more than 1,000 hours of time in the theater, Mr. Seth Stidham. With more than 900 hours of time in the theater, Mr. Devin Johnson. It is my privilege to present the John Surter Award. This award is given by the Farmington Central Athletic Booster Club. It is awarded annually to the senior boy and senior girl who have demonstrated the highest combination of athletic ability and scholarship. The purpose is to encourage athletic participation and scholarship. This year's recipients are our female recipient, Paige Valianatos, 
daughter of Brad and Lisa Valianatos. Our male recipient is Jaden Rutledge, son of Michelle Rutledge and Mike Rutledge. We would like to acknowledge the following seniors who have enlisted in the military and have chosen to serve their country. Benjamin Behrens, United States Army National Guard component. Drew Runyon, United States Army Reserve component. Alejandro Sandoval, United States Army Reserve component. Braden Saunders, United States Air Force National Guard component, and Mr. Austin Winters, United States Army National Guard component. The Illinois Principal Association Student Leadership recognition is to honor one or two high school graduating seniors who exemplify qualities that reflect what our school means to the student and local community. The student recognized this year for the Principal Leadership Award are Gavin Mallon and Abigail Pepper. IPA award winner Abigail Pepper has been actively involved throughout her career at FCHS. She was a member of the varsity cheer team, theater, and participated in Key Club all four years. For her senior year, she served as Student Senate President, National Honor Society Secretary, she served on the prom committee, and was Key Club President. She was a Sterling Merit winner and will graduate top 10 in her class. Outside of school, Abigail participated in dancing at Dance Connection, which she helped instruct and volunteered at numerous events, including Living Hope Community Church, Vacation Bible School, Camp Big Sky, Living Hope Community Church's Easter Egg Hunt, Blood Drives at the School, for both National Honor Society and the theater. Rotary Booth, she painted fire hydrants, worked at the Southside Mission, and helped with Troop 4390's Girl Scout meetings. Abigail plans to attend Southeast Missouri State University and major in mass communications. IPA award winner Gavin Mallon has been actively involved throughout his career at FCHS. Gavin was selected at Farmington, as Farmington Central High School Senior of the Month for April. He's in the top 10, of his top 10 in his class, a Sterling Merit Award winner, and was named an Illinois State Scholar. Gavin is involved in various extracurricular activities, which include drama club, marching concert, and pep band, theater, wise team, science Olympiad, game club, art club, cross country, and winter guard. Gavin volunteered at multiple events, including Wildlife Scary Park, mentored children as a camp counselor, and helped raise money for the band boosters by assisting with the potato booth. He will be attending the University of Wisconsin Stout, where he plans on majoring in plastics engineering and mechanical engineering. Congratulations to both individuals. Illinois State Scholars. The State Scholar Program publicly and personally identifies graduating high school seniors who possess superior academic potential. Students from nearby, from nearly every high school in Illinois compete in, this pro, compete in the program. The combination of exemplary college entrance examination scores and record high school achievement indicate an especially high potential for success in college. To be honored as a state scholar in Illinois is an outstanding accomplishment. The Illinois State Scholar Program is awarded to high school seniors based on ACT or SAT scores and the six semester class size and an unweighted class rank and GPA. Each student designated as a state scholar receives a congratulatory letter, a certificate of achievement, and statewide recognition in the news media. This year's Illinois State Scholars are Seth Stidham, Gabe Benson, Gavin Mallon, Adelaide Parr, and Devin Johnson. The Lincoln Senior Award. 
The Lincoln Senior Award is given to a high school senior from Peoria County. They are chosen by their school for having qualities similar to Abraham Lincoln. Those qualities include being a good student, being passionate and deliberate, desire to learn, having an appreciation for self-learning, being selective and disciplined in reading, exhibiting leadership, having ambition to succeed, having good organizational skills, demonstrating an ability to speak clearly and deliberately, being knowledgeable about history and politics, believing in the equality of individuals and traditional values, being courageous, exhibiting persistent effort in the face of adversity, being honest, humble and loyal, and demonstrating good humor. This year's Lincoln Senior Award is presented to Devin Johnson. Surly Merit Awards. Students are recognized for their academic success in high school at the prestigious annual Sterling Merit Awards Banquet. The annual event honors area graduates who have attained high academic standing in the top 8% of their high school graduating class and have a GPA of 4.0 or higher. This year's Sterling Merit honorees are Seth Stidham, Gabe Benson, Adelaide Parr, McKenna McKeever, Gavin Mallon, Emily Street Matter, Abigail Pepper, and Devin Johnson. In addition, the Sterling Merit Award winners vote one of their own to the Outstanding Student 2020. This year's Sterling Merit winners selected Devin Johnson and Emily Street Matter to be the Outstanding Senior Award winner for 2020. Congratulations. Before we get our closing, I just want to take an opportunity to thank the Foundation for all their work for this evening. They provide an invaluable service for our seniors and financial support for them as they enter the next stages of their career. Again, uh, to the foundation, a big thank you. For our seniors, you may have seen the phrase, once a farmer, always a farmer, during your time here. I'd like to think the phrase implies the strong family ties students who attend here have. Farmington is like a family. And like all families, uh, we have struggles. We sometimes disagree. Uh, but when it comes down to it, we still support and care for each other. Seniors, take a moment and reflect. Think of all the experiences you've had in high school. Think of the challenging lessons from your teachers, the hardships, the trials, the triumphs, the laugh with friends, the victories and the defeats. All of these moments have come to define who you are and who we are as Farmington Farmers. At the end of the day, we'll have distinct and different memories of the time spent here. Some of us will leave, some will go our separate ways, but we will always be connected by the common shared experiences here at FCHS. This year alone, I witnessed things I never thought possible in education. Seniors, this gives you another very unique, common, shared, binding experience in a manner none of us thought was possible. While social distancing norms may alter the last part of your school experience, it doesn't take away from who you are. It doesn't change the fact that you're still a Farmington farmer. Once a farmer, always a problem. So to the class of 2020, thank you. I have enjoyed my time with you more than you'll know. I'd like to share a message my mentor once shared with me. He shared a picture with me of a sunrise and sunset titled New Beginnings. 
You may have seen it in my office. It reads, what in life may seem like the end is really a new beginning. And this picture has a sun both rising and sell, uh, uh, set, setting in one motion. Seniors, the end of your high school career is coming to an end. However, new beginnings and new opportunities await each and every one of you. There is much to add to your life story. So please, go make the most of your new beginnings. Thank you, and good night.